spray. Oh. Here we go. And... Hello everybody, welcome to the b and stream. My name is b and and I appreciate you coming to this b and stream. Today is the 29th of November 2021. It is the... Oh, I guess it's Cyber Monday. It's the day where... Uh, I guess you get sales, but aren't necessarily sales that were on the other day of sales. They're specifically this day of sales. Uh, as an Australian, I'm I'm definitely going headfirst into what all this stuff is. I don't know exactly, but enough of that. I hope you're keeping well, and I hope you're realizing that yes, the next big holiday is either uh, Hanukkah or Christmas, or I think Ramadan's happened. Festivus. We're almost up to that season, but until then, you've got to suffer because I am playing. Oh, dang it! It didn't. It didn't uh, get the, the streaming. There we go. And there's some audio. Cool. Okay, I'm playing more Pokemon Gold, and you got to watch it for another two hours. But I promise this will probably be the last stream because I'm going to take an attempt at something, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But I've got a couple of things that I need to show off before I get to kind of suffering at the end. And then I'll take a few stabs at uh, the very, very post-game super boss, and then we'll see how I go. So I've got Surfer Bro in my party. He knows all the water. Uh, I don't need Hypnosis, but definitely I'm going to need Surf and Waterfall. I also don't need Whirlpool. I'm surprised I picked the one uh, not HM in that list, but that's okay. All right. So, I'm not going to need him, because I do have someone with Surf, so that's okay. Flashfly has Flash, so I do need him. Uh, but yeah, I guess I don't need Surfer Bro for the moment, so let's yeet him out. And then, uh, let's withdraw. Uh, cut him Rock, because I'm specifically going to need Rock Smash, and he's got Strength, so that's, that's what I'm going to need. Oh, I am going to need Waterfall, aren't I? Oh. Well. That's okay. Because now let's go back. And let's go. Oh, okay. No one, boy? More like, no more, boy. See ya. Uh, and I'm also going to put... Uh... I think Heracross, actually. Yeah, let's run with Chicky in the front. How about that? Wait. Oh, sorry, get rid Ooh, ooh, I filled the box up. That'll be good fun. Uh, I'm probably gonna want... Babat. Just because he's fast. Uh, and, uh... Let's chuck... Uh... That's all I need, actually. No, no, sorry. I, I'm done. Uh, trying to figure out what, what I'm doing with my brain. So, pretty much, I'm gonna need all my HMs, uh, people. You don't need it for this first thing I'm about to do, but I'm gonna do two things back to back, and I don't wanna change party members. So, uh, let's get so far. So, I'm gonna need... The first thing that I'm gonna do on this stream is I'm gonna check out the, the Dark Cave. Because I haven't shown it off. And I just wanna show off, like, what's actually in it. Uh, and I was thinking, well, the easiest thing to do is... Let's have all my head gems on the ready. So we've got Flashfly, we've got uh, Cut'em Rock, and we've got Surfer Bro. We've got all the head gems going on uh, over here. Uh, you fly the Blackthorn. There's two ways you can actually get into uh, the Dark Cave, one of which is on Route 31, which is actually kind of cool. But you can also get to it via Route... whatever number this one is. And it's just over here. The Dark Cave is naturally dark, so you can't see anything, so that's why you need uh, your flashfly to use flash so that you can see. And now, you've also got to surf. They got they make you work for this, I swear. Uh, so there's that. Uh, kind of confusingly, there's two different caves that kind of have the same structure, almost, uh, on both sides. Uh, they've got different encounters as well. So, uh, on this side of the Dark Cave, we've got the stronger encounters. We've got, uh, 
Graveler, Geodude, uh, which can be level 23 and 25, Zubat, uh, and also Warbuffet and Golbat. Uh, this is the only place in the game you can get Warbuffet. So, Warbuffet's a pretty cool Pokemon, I like him. He's pretty neat. Uh, but there's not really... I mean, I don't think there's any particular need to go in here unless you want to show off some items, which I do, and I probably should have bought some repels. So how about I buy, buy some repels next time I leave? Uh... I've got to sail north. Well, there's a wad off it. You can catch it if you want. I'm not. My box is full. That's really annoying. I'm actually curious. Can you catch Pokemon when your box is full? Because, yeah, that's the... That's one weird thing about this game. Uh... <laughs> I hope you like the, uh, the tunnel side being on a piece of ground I can stand on as well. Uh... But, yeah, no, nah, I... I've forgotten how the box works when you're catching Pokemon and it's full, because what you've got to do in this game is actively switch between the, uh, the boxes. Which one are active? Whoa, you stopped me there. I had my black glasses on, so I didn't notice you at all. What am I doing here? Hey, don't you worry about it. I'll give you a pair of black glasses. So forget you saw me, okay? Okay, well, <laughs> I would be getting black glasses. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> I'll chuck something away for it. Uh, I don't think there's... There maybe rocks on this side. I don't know if there is, but uh, if you rock smash the rocks, it's the same encounters I think in every rock smash rock. So it's Krabby or Shuckle. Uh, and, yeah. But I already did that. I already showed you what, what you get there, so... Yeah, no, I hope you're all having a great uh, Cyber Monday. Uh, I've definitely found that the deals on computer parts have not been as uh, engaging this year as... Uh, previous years have been, and that's a bit of a shame because, uh, that's just how the market is right now. It's not a sign of, we're getting, uh, I guess, well, it is kind of, <laughs> we're, we're slightly getting gouged and we're also slightly, you know, in some terrible markets when it comes to that kind of stuff, so, uh, I'm curious if someone's going to do some end numbers on how many people spent money. Also, I believe that is, I think that's TM13 Snore. On that, on that bit. I've got Bulbapedia open, I'm like, that's, I think that's one of them. That's probably Snore, so. Uh, so we've got the other half of the cave. It's two rooms. Uh, and I'm already at the close side here. So I guess, where am I exactly? There we go. Need a potion. There we go. So, uh, if you exit out... <sighs> we'll, <laughs> we'll never get there. Um, yeah, no. Nah, I I haven't seen any particular deals I, I would like. I'm mildly tempted to pick up the new F1 game because it's uh, it's not quite, you know, brand new. But uh, they've got a loyalty discount. We're here, by the way. Uh, Route 30. Or 31, I think. So... Cool. Uh, and <laughs> there's one last thing to check in the cave, and I'm gonna I'm gonna flash again. But it's kind of cool, and I just want to show off that it exists. And there's a couple of items you can get. Uh, I believe, yeah, you could once you get flash, you can walk around this way, only to then realize that you can only get a potion until you either need surf or rock smash. And I love how you can use surf to then need to use rock smash. So if you didn't bring rock smash, ugh. Whoops. That's okay. Keep walking. Rock smash, rock, rock, breakable rock, rock. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I think if I go down this away, I'm gonna see some fun stuff. There we go, like this. It's a full heal. How cool is that? I think there might be a Hyper Potion up the top as well, but... I want to show off that there's a magical door down here. What's... Oh! <laughs> I'm totally buying the repels for the next one. There's Dunsparce. That's the other Pokemon that you can get here. It's got Geodude, Zubat, and Dunsparce, and I think I showed off... Uh... 
entering this cave, but I don't think I would have expected finding Dunsparce. Uh, this is right at the bottom of Route 42, which you can walk to, I believe, yeah. You don't need a HM to use Rock Smash. And, uh, yeah. The only downside is there's nothing to do down here. I think there's one trainer, there's two trainers, and I believe they both have level 15 Pokemon. They know that you can access this really early on, so that's that. That's the Rock Tunnel. There's nothing really too much out of it, but it's cool. It's a place, uh, and it's interesting that there's, I guess, like, just an optional cave just there. I don't know. It's it's a curious one to think of. Uh, so let's see if they've got any repel. They don't have any repels. Who's got the repels? Maybe Blackthorn has them. Uh, I just realized also I'm holding on to nuggets, which I can just sell right away. Uh, there we go, let's flip pals. Let's buy a ton of them. Thank you. Thank you. Why, why does my life do this to me? Alright, I got four nuggets. Nuggets are big money. You don't need them. Pay me five bucks for that ice berry, bro. How much for the moonstone? <laughs> The handful of items where it's just like, oh, okay. I, I really don't need, like, some of this. Alright, anyways. Uh, let's buy the Max Repels. And I was hoping that I could also get some, or at least one escape rope. Maybe I've got one in my, in my box. Because I know I'm going to probably want one. Do I have... Do I have one? Oh. I just scroll right past it. One singular escape rope. That's all I need. That's all I need. Okay. So, the other mystical cave that I have not explored yet is, uh, this one next to Ecrutic. It's Mount Morta. It's a real interesting cave. I think I went into it very briefly. But, uh, there's actually more to it than what I saw, because you need Waterfall, which you can only get at the end of the game. So you have to remember that, yes, when you enter this cave, which you can't look in, by the way. So, you gotta get your Flash Fly. And before you remind me, yes, I'm about to use that Repel. Uh, wherever it's gone. There you go. So, yeah, this is Mount Morta. It's a cave. It's got uh, a bunch of Pokemon, I believe, but let's go in and let's get lost. Because it's actually a bit confusing. It's got a couple of different levels, which I'm going to get hugely lost in, but that's okay because I've got the repel on and no one wants to watch me constantly enter wild encounters. Uh, you got to know when to fold them, when to not. I guess you gotta know strength when you get to this point. I believe you can just walk past, like you can you can walk from one side to the other without necessarily needing HMs. But yeah, you don't need, or sorry, you do need to be able to at least navigate around if you want to uncover the lost secrets on the inside, wherever the heck they may be. No strength like puzzles, I believe, but it's still like rather atrocious how, how much of a cave. Maybe this is where my fear of Pokemon caves came in. This kind of just mess of everything. I'm over on this side. I'm over on this side. I've now dropped to basically the start. Where am I going? Who knows? Uh, I'll take the... There's nothing on this ledge. So I guess you go going left. Oh, cool. There's one repel. That's how quick they go. Uh, I don't think that really... No, that, don't, that didn't really save anything. I don't even think maybe there's anything here. Yeah, this feels like a recovery area. So I'm like, I went to the top. And there was just walls on the way, so... Ah, I guess I'm lost. Cool. 
But that's okay, because there's this over here to go up a floor. And maybe there's something over on this side. Uh, so there should be dead end, dead end. Ah, uh, but, but there is a guard spec. Not everything is worthless. Oh, I think I've just... I've realized, I've tapped my noggin, realized what's going on. Alright, so yeah, you can walk to the other side. But to actually... To actually continue in this cave, you gotta surf to the middle, where there's a third magical doorway. Ah, uh, gosh. I don't remember this cave very much at all, I swear. Every time I play this game, I'll always skip it because I don't really need the reward in it. So, there's this platform here, which brings you to some ledge, and I believe... You can surf around, you can pick up a hyper potion, cool. Are there any other cool items that I'm missing? There actually may be. Let's see if I find them. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, yeah, no, Cyber Monday, it's, uh, it's, I guess it's happened. I haven't really, uh, gone into any sales, and unfortunately I'm missing out until Christmas comes around and does the exact same thing again. It, is, is, is Black Friday and Cyber Monday, is all of this just early Christmas sales? Like, people pick things up because they expect that they'll never get that cheap again when it comes around to Christmas? I don't know. I feel like there's a bit of a, a bit of a rush with buying stuff, and that's alright, but... Uh, sometimes it's a little tiring. So that's that's a no-go, because I can't push that rock. Sailing around a bit more. Will I find anything? Maybe. Who knows? Uh yeah. I don't know, has anyone found any good Black Friday deals? Because, yeah, I'm a bit lost on that. Uh, and yeah, that actually, that does remind me that, yeah, we're, we're approaching Christmas soon. Uh, which does remind me that, yeah, it's been a year of, of streams and all that good stuff. Uh, I just realized as well, I've forgot to set something on the computer, so let me reset that before it bites me in the butt. I don't know why, when I launch, um... There's a bit of meta discussion when I launch my uh, emulator, it decides to go low priority on Windows, which is entirely the worst thing in the world. I love how I'm on the complete opposite side of this platform as well. Is there something in here? Wow, there's a lot of just weird ledges that just don't relate to anything. Okay. Cool. Uh, did you get anything in Black Friday deals or Cyber Monday? I did not. Yeah, nah. I, um... I was mildly tempted to pick up a few video games on Steam, and, uh... Thank you for the follow, and, uh, yeah, I might, I might still, I mean, there's still a bit of daylight left, uh, and, who knows, I'll sometimes get American time, so... Uh, so there's not anything there, which is a bit of a shame, there's a couple items around, around there. Uh, oh, there's another rappel, okay, cool. Used waterfall. There you go. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I was looking for a lot of computer parts, and I'd be very disheartened to see uh, stuff like, uh, oh, you can buy a thirty sixty for seven eight hundred dollars. I think there may have been one for seven hundred fifty Australian. I'm like, oh, jeez, like that's a lot. This is, by the way, a, a fourth room. There's... There's four, like, large maps of this cave. It gets very, very confusing. But, yeah, no, it's, it's weird that they need waterfall on that, so... I'm kind of walking around in circles on this, uh, topic. I, I don't really know what to say on, on Black Friday. I guess, yeah, that's the idea of, uh... Excessive consumerism, if you want to go a bit cynical into that, but... GPU price is still not going down, sad, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I... Like, uh, I haven't... I haven't seen any recent, like, uh, Bitcoin prices or, or crypto prices in general, but... 
I'm hoping that, you know, at some point they start going down. Um, I would have thought, like, you know, all, all the, the legislation on that one, all, uh, the fact that, like, I'm effectively paying tax three times whenever I do a crypto transaction. Alright, I think I've just got to sneak across here. That should be good. There you go, keep going up. Man, it's really hard to even know that you're going forward in this cave. And then you see that thing, you're like, oh, really? Fine, I'll commit. TM40, which one's that one? I think it's Defense Curl. Just there. <laughs> you need Waterfall before you can teach a Pokemon Defense Curl. Yes. Uh... But yeah, at the very least, uh, I I find that, hey, like, if, if it wasn't for the GPU, you can definitely get the rest of the computer for a really, really good price. I saw some great stuff on um, the new Intel older like stuff and uh, the Ryzen processors, the Ryzen 5000s, to compete against those. Well, I, at least I could have grabbed an escape rope here, so cool. I think if I duck all the way across the back here, then I reach a mystical... Ooh. Do I care about that? Do I care about that? Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. There's an elixir, which is not typically what I wanted, but sure. Dragon scale, that's what I wanted, yeah. Well, not, not the absolute thing, but uh, I think the Dragon Scale actually doesn't work in this game. Like, trust Pokemon to get it wrong. Uh... Yeah, yeah, oh, sorry, no. So, okay, so what this item is supposed to do is that if you give it to a uh, Seedra, it will evolve into a Kingdra when you trade it. And it does do that in this game. But, uh, it also mistakenly has the effects of the Dragon Fang. So the Dragon Fang does nothing in this game. The Dragon Scale has the Dragon Fang effect of give it to a Pokémon, and they also deal 10% more damage with Dragon-type attacks. Thank you, Pokémon, you get it wrong twice. They, they keep getting it wrong, so... Anyway, there's a mystical ladder there, leads you into this strange room. Where am I going? I believe up here... Uh, that's how you, you go down. There we go, there's a maximum revive. Am I hearing... Wow. I thought I was hearing loud, like, TV noises just then. <laughs> I'm going insane, that's why. Uh... So I believe... Oh my gosh, the repel. Dude, it's been forever since I've navigated this cave. Almost there, I think. I think. There we go. So you come up to this guy. This just a guy. All the way in this cave. And he goes, Hi, I'm the Karate King. I train alone here in the dark. You battle with me. And yeah, the, there's one trainer. I've missed this one trainer. Well, not missed, but... He's just been here this whole time. So meet Black Belt Kaio. Uh, he's got him on me. This actually, I think this is the this is the guy who when we went to Saffron City, this was like this is the guy from the uh, the dojo, and he's like, oh, he's training in that water. Here he is. He's finally here. Slap him with a wing attack. So uh, yeah, he's got two Pokemon: Hit on Lee, level 34, Jump Kick, High Jump Kick, Focus Energy, and Mind Reader. But he's a level 34 Hit on Lee. He's got nothing against Babat. Sure. And uh, the other one he's got is Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan, always diverse movesets, never expect anything other than pain. He's got Mac Punk, uh, Punk, Mac Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Fire Punch. So something for the occasion. It's just he's it's, it's slower than Babat. So uh, easy fight, but just. So what does he give you? Oh, I'm crushed. My training's still not enough, but a loss is a loss. I admit it. As proof that you defeated me. I'll give you a rare fighting Pokemon. And that's why I had the extra inventory space. He gives you a Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a fighting type that evolves into a tougher Pokemon. Keep up the hard work. I'll keep training too. Farewell. Well, uh, he said farewell to me, but I'm still here, so. And then you can push your way out of this cave. But, 
that's it. I'm, I'm done with this cave. We're all good. I've walked all this distance just to give myself... Uh, just to give myself a Tyro. But yeah, no, Tyro is pretty cool because it's, it's a bit of a wimpy Pokemon. I don't believe it's got that high stats. It's level 10. There he is. Uh, he only knows Tackle. Uh, yeah, his stats aren't amazing. But here's the magic part with Tyro. Uh, he evolves at level 20. And depending on the, the calculated stat of attack or defense that he has, if his attack is higher, he evolves into... Uh, oh boy. I hope I get this right. I believe he evolves into Hitmonchan if his attack is higher. And if his defense is higher, he evolves into Hitmonlee. Let me double check that before I look like an idiot. Yeah, no, it's the other, it's the other way. Hitmonlee... If his attack is higher, Hitmonchan is it if his defense is higher. But what if they're the same? He evolves into Hitmontop, which I I've forgotten. Have I seen Hitmontop? Let's check the Pokedex. Good thing it's ordered by alphabetical. Oh I have seen Hitmontop. Yeah, okay. So you get him on top, if they're even. And that's good fun. That's a real fun evolution that just exists. Uh so yeah, no, that's good fun. Uh Alright, so. Let's go to Violet City. Uh, and I'm gonna need to catch a lot of Pokemon for the next bit. So why don't I figure out where the Pokemon is? There it is. I would like to buy a lot of Pokeballs. How about let's just, let's just go overboard? Let's let's buy 60. Uh, this one's gonna be kind of interesting as well, isn't it? Uh... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't think I've got really anyone who can deal weak attacks, so... I don't know, I'll just put Chicky up the front, use Tackle, hope for the best. Uh, I don't know why this also hasn't come off the line, so... Uh, so the next list on my agenda is that I showed off the Ruins of Valf way long ago, but I never actually, like, properly took him on. Took on the whole thing. So, why not let's go out of our way and try and catch all, all the unknowns. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna write down the list of unknowns as well that I have not yet gotten. So, uh, if I try to withdraw, I should have a lot of lingering unknowns. Uh, so I've gotten, uh, E... Hold on, A... WXYZ. Now I'm gonna scratch off E so I know I've got an E. Cool. I've gotten uh I think that's G, I think. Uh I've gotten I. I've gotten Onyx. Uh <laughs> I see an L in there, I'm like, oh okay. Did I really only catch three of them? Okay, cool. Uh, so let's change the box to box two. This is gonna casually save my game, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, let's take a stab. Uh, the Ruins of Alpha is, is good fun, but yeah, you do need to catch all the unknowns in order to truly unlock its secrets. But I think this will be something cool to show off. Uh, so two entrances to Ruins of Alpha. There we go. Uh, I've still got all my HM Pokemon on the side as well. So I believe this was the door that I did. I did one puzzle. I went in. And uh, there's definitely a lot of unknown to catch from this specific uh, doorway. So let's try and... I, yeah, I realize as well. Repel. All right, hopefully some unknown start appearing. Here we go. Alright, this one's a J. Yeah, it's level 5. I'm, I'm gonna absolutely annihilate it if I, like, try just... Just going at it. I've got a lot of Great Balls, maybe I'll start off with the Great Balls. Yeah, they're not too hard catches, but... I guess I got nothing... Oh, and they flee. Maybe this is what the Tyrogue is for. Actually, no. I'll, I'll send our surfer, bro. He'll definitely be able to cop it a bit better. There we go. 
Uh, but yeah, no, no, good Black Friday deals. Uh, maybe, I don't know. On almost everything. This one's a B. It's a B. I realized as well, I just checked the, um, uh, well, I guess I got hypnosis, which always helps. <laughs> there we go. I actually saw one thing, and I'm not too sure if it's legit, but I saw that paralysis, burn, and poison does not improve your catch chances in this game. Again, another glitch. Very strange. Ah, oh, shoot. So close. Done. Well, let's let's keep trying to catch this guy. Yeah, that'll be good fun. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, I've... Oh my gosh, don't do the three shakes on me. That just wastes my time, bro. Don't do the three shakes. You wanna get... You wanna get caught. You wanna go in. One catch. There we go. Alright, I got the B. I've gotten the B. I am B int. Don't need it. Alright. So, yeah, I, I forgot as well. In the Pokédex under uh, Select, we've got the Unknown Mode. So I can literally see I've got all these ones. G I E B. What does that say at the bottom? Uh. Bear? <laughs> okay, sure. I'll show all these offers as I go through. Uh, this is probably going to be a fair bit of just catching unknowns, hoping that I know what I'm doing. I'm going to take the F right here. But yeah. So, I've got a couple of uh, games I've been playing over the past week that I thought would be interesting-ish to talk about. And these are these are games that are definitely not new, but uh, they've been kind of interesting for me. Uh, the first one I would like to talk about is a tower defense game. This one had been sitting in my Steam library for a fair bit. Uh, Sorry, Steam wishlist for a fair bit. I wanted to pick it up at some point in the sale, and then I checked it at some point and went, oh, like, why is there a free game in my Steam wishlist? Only to realize, oh, the dev of this game made it a free game last month, I believe. This game is called Infinitoad 2. It's not Toad like a frog, it's Toad as in. I'm not too sure, but it's a. Uh, I think it's Toad as in short for Tower Defense. I think that's what he's going for. Um, and it's the second game of some variety. It definitely feels very kind of vintage to me. It feels like a Flash game that I've just kind of uncovered. And there's a bunch of, you know, like it's the Congregate Weekly Achievement of something. It's like, oh, well, you gotta try your best to get so far in this tower defense game. But, uh, well, guess what move the unknown knows? Cool. Uh, do I just go in with another hypnosis? Might as well. Gotta get that catch chance somehow, but... Yeah, well... Uh... Well... Man! What is the catch rate on the nun? It's not like that low, is it? It's 25. Which apparently is a 39.9% chance if you're trying to use a Pokeball at full health. Uh, looks like Gemcraft. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually, I would like to play, um, Gemcraft again. I know that there's a Steam version, so I'm like, oh, like, that'd be cool. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's pretty, like, raw tower defense. It's basically, you got a grid, your, your, uh, enemies follow a path. And uh, you put down the towers and you shoot them and there's different enemy types and there's different tower types and you hopefully provide a good combination of everything and then you earn money and you basically upgrade the towers in the middle of the level to boost them. Uh, or alternatively, uh, they or well, not alternative, but also supplementarily, they level up by shooting things and the enemies get stronger and stronger and they might come in larger waves and maybe there's different kinds of enemies that are immune to different uh, kinds of... Uh, shots, so there's a lot of stuff with that. Uh, in the meantime, you also earn all these weird rewards, uh, mostly as the game refers to as green money, which I like. Good, good meme. Uh, and then it's got this ridiculous upgrade tree, so it's it's as like gamey of a tower defense as you'd expect. And I kind of like it. It's just like this, you know, unabashedly 
Uh, just, it's, it's almost like the Flash game days. Uh, it's got a little bit of that kind of mobile incentivizing, and, and some of the UI definitely feels a bit mobile-y. Um, so it's got like a daily challenge. Uh, it's got two daily challenges. It's got like a daily quest it gives you, where it tries to just push you a bit further in one level that you haven't done before. Sorry, like you have done the level before, but it's like, oh, like you hit wave 50 this time, try and hit wave, uh, 55 or something like that. And, uh, so it's like, okay. The, the reason why it's probably not the worst is because you've already, well, you, you're buying these upgrades and there's a lot of levels. Uh, which one home is this one? This one's, uh, I want C, so I'm actually set on that one. Oh wait, no I'm not. I'm not set on C. I don't have C. Oh. Hypnosis did not like him. Get him again. There we go. So what's kind of weird about this Ruins of Alf, just, just as a side note, is, uh... Yeah, despite there being 26 unknown to get, they're not evenly distributed between the four doors. So you're actually going to see me, uh... Oh, nice. Easy. I have not been counting necessarily how many I've gotten, but... Uh, I definitely know I've got to get A, I've got to get D, I've got to get H... Oh, sorry, I guess all of these are in order. Like, they are in the first, uh, 12 alphabetically. 12? 11. Alright, so I've got that at least. I do need a D. I've got to get that D. So how many have I gotten? 19, I think. Or 7. Which actually means I'll be done with this part of the room pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's pretty unabashed of, of what it is. And uh, it's, it's fairly addicting in the sense of, like, this was something I used to play a ton. I used to play a lot of, like, these tower defense games. Gemcraft, desktop tower defense is a classic. Um... There's, like, one other one. I was not a Bloons tower defense guy. Sorry, I played the original Bloons tower defense way back when, in the Concrete days. I never got into Bloons tower defense, uh, like, five and six quite recently, but maybe I should. I really should. Um... I definitely remember playing the original Bloons when it was, like, a, like a, um... Like one of those catapult, like aiming kinds of games. Uh, there, it was actually that was a pretty good fun. It was, it's kind of like Arkanoid, uh, but like a puzzle Arkanoid. So, yeah, no, really enjoyed that kind of era of games. Um, and it's a bit sad that, yeah, it gets delegated to like really cheap and or free games on Steam. Actually, also, I'll chuck Creeper World in that list. Creeper World is technically a tower defense, and I absolutely love Creeper World Three. And I really should play Creep World 4, that one's a great one as well. That's, yeah, that is a genre of game that's just, like, completely void, like, from anywhere but indie games. Tower defenses were just, like, granted, they're a bit dime a dozen, there's, there's a lot of tower defense games out there, but... It's crazy that, like, no AAA developer really does that many tower defenses, not a lot of, like, even handheldy kinds of games, I don't even know. All I need is A and J now. So, I'll just keep looking for A and J and then I can move up to the next room. Uh, but yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely good fun. I'd at least recommend it because it's free. Like, you might as well go with that. That's a, that's a glowing review right there. But, yeah, no, that was good fun. Uh, the other game that I had played, I don't really have too much to say about it. It's, it's very tower defense, and you'll see what I mean if you play it. Um, oh, oh, one, one last thing about it I've, I've got is that uh, it's got this wonderful, like, chip tune music, and I swear I've heard some of them as I've pirated software in the past. I swear, I swear I've definitely heard one of them. Um, and it, it's definitely, like, it's, it's that kind of fun, like, sampled, um, like, kind of tracker music. It's great. Which, there's a wonderful Xbox Ahoy video very recently about tracking music, and that actually did kind of inspire me to toy around with that software and then go... I'm gonna stick with MuseScore on that one, but I really do appreciate that kind of era of music composition where it was basically, I want to signal the most... not the most minimum, but like signal just kind of uh, playing sounds at various pitches 
Uh, and then just, yeah, com creating these very, like, wonderfully bright and polyphonic kinds of music with, uh, with tracker kind of software and compositions. And it's interesting just, like, how, yeah, it's, it's music written by non-musicians. It's very programmer-centric. Um, but it's also, like, it's kind of interesting that, yeah, you can, you can basically, I mean, yeah, music is so, like, universal. You don't have to necessarily write stuff in music notation. I remember in a, in school, we even had to, like, learn a song, and it was basically like, someone wrote this, and they basically wrote it in a very weirdly different way to how, uh, how music is traditionally written on, 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 like, five line saves and stuff. Uh, and they just used lines and, and kind of just went like, okay, you want to do a pitch, and you just, and they just drew, like, a line going up, a line going down, and then kind of said, like, you're gonna clap like this, and then they were just like, ah, the performance is gonna be very varied because the, the written part is not very precise. But that's okay. So I believe that's all the Pokemon in, uh, this part of the cave, or this part of the, the room. There's nothing really else to do here, so let's leave. Now let's see, if I go south, there's some water down here. And in here is more cave. More ruins of Alf. So you may remember from like stream two, I think, I had to do a bit of a puzzle on figuring out how to align the blocks, and it was like a Kabuto. There's a different puzzle on all of these, uh, all of these parts, so let me try and figure this one out. I think there's a border going on around the outside here, so I can definitely see something like that, but it's not, uh, symmetrical. So, uh, I'm gonna have to try my best. Uh... I'm not too sure if there's even a, an edge here. Okay, this this part definitely looks correct. Uh, maybe not that part. This looks like this is the next bit connecting, so sure. And then I'm looking for... That's not... Maybe that is it? This is a weird kind of head. Maybe that's the corner. Does that mean there's another corner around here? Uh, this might be a corner. There we go. Uh, oh boy, what am I looking at? No, that looks like it's the top. Yeah, that might be like there. Bit of a weird one. This one over. Real tricky with these barriers, but yeah, this is a. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting as well that like you know this game's got a bit of variety with like how it does. It's got these like little mini sections here. You just gotta do you know gotta do a puzzle. Why not? Uh, I want that to be like the, the jaw. So maybe that's this part. Yeah, that looks a bit better. There we go. That's cool. That's a little aerodactyl. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Because I think all, like, this introduces some more unknown. But it doesn't get rid of the old one, so I'm still gonna see the old one show up. Uh, so how about I just take my chances once I've got all the all the sides spawning in? How about that? I'll take the F. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so the other game that I've been playing is, uh, or rather was, I played it just last night, and only just last night, because that was enough to beat it, was Momodora 
Riviere, or Rivi, Riviere, Reverie, Under the Moonlight. That's a that's a word that I've rarely seen. Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight. It is the fourth Momodora title, but I've never played any of the others. The first two are games that you can download now on itch.io for a pay what you want price. Um, is he is he immune? No, he's, he's psychic type. I don't know why he's saying he's immune to the to the thing. But yeah, no, this is a game that's uh, overwhelmingly positive on Steam. I've seen it around a bunch. It's got a neato pixel art look, and I was like, oh, this must be pretty cool. Uh, it's a... Uh, I, I hate using the term Metroidvania because, like, it's Metroid in the sense of it's got a map and it's got, like, rooms in different directions, but, like, I, Metroid was a clear inspiration for Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and a lot of these Metroidvania titles are Symphony of the Night. And I would rather just say it's a Symphony of the Night, like, uh, not clone, but definitely, uh, inspired successor. Because that's what it basically is. It's got a little bit of that kind of essence in that. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm not going this way. Uh. Oh, yeah, I just realized. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> you gotta take the bike. <laughs> so, the other two caves, you can only get to through Union Cave. Yeah, I've forgotten that one. Okay. Which does mean I get to show off Union Cave, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna put another rappel on, because this is actually gonna take me a bit. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe not right now, because I'm definitely not gonna go through any grass for a like, fair number of steps. As long as no one wants to fight me again. Oh. I'm going through no grass! Proceeds to go through all the grass. Alright, back to Union Cave. Uh, I'm gonna use that Max Repel. That's not the Max Repel. There we go. Uh, so where am I going, where am I going? I'm going right down to the bottom. So yeah, Union Cave, you may remember I went through uh, Union Cave earlier. Uh, there's a staircase here. You want to go this way, to the staircase. You then want to sail your way. There's a guy over here. Have I fought this guy? No. What do you know? A visitor! Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Well, there's a, there's a hiker down here. Leonard. He's got a Geodude. Uh... The levels are a bit rougher than what you'd expect around this point, but they're not too rough. Uh, I might as well use Surfer Bro as my actual beating the guys, because that's what they seem to be doing. They're just here. Cool. Well, Surfer Bro, you did it. You got experience. Uh, but yeah, no, Momodora is... it's a Metroid... Mania, I guess I'm gonna use the term. Uh... But it's pretty, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty alright. Uh, it's rather short, it only took me three and a half hours, uh, and probably an hour less if it wasn't for a bit of a bait and switch ending to the game where it basically goes, or well, someone earlier is like, hmm, you don't, I don't think you're gutsy enough to, uh, or prepared enough to, uh, cure the, the, the queen. So you go beat the game, you beat the queen, and then the game just goes, yeah, you failed in capturing, in, in reversing the curse. Whoops. And then the game just goes, yep, bad ending. So, rip on that one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, the game was pretty alright. Uh, you get to double jump, you get to swing a leaf as a weapon. It's got items, uh, some are active items and you can switch them by pressing a button and then using them. And some are passives that, uh, set a few properties. There's not a ton of items, so if you've ever played Symphony of the Night, you'll definitely, like, be happy of what they do within three and a half hours, but you'll definitely go, yeah, like, Symphony of the Night is a tremendously great game that has so much, like, depth and, and not depth, but also just variety in all the mechanics that it chucks at you. Uh, 
Um, and if you've never played Symphony of the Night, please go out and actually play it, because you'll hear people talk about it, and it's legit, like, it's a tremendously great experience. Um, and he's got all these Gravelers. Where have you been hiding all these Gravelers, bro? No, the other two are muted. I oh, know, it's cool. So I guess the question is, this route, yeah. Ah! Hmm, this is a strange place. We got Nathan here, he's got a giraffe rig, oh boy! Uh, I'm gonna switch out to... Babat on this one. So I believe this is the, uh, this is technically in the Ruins of Alf. This is technically a Ruins of the, or, yeah, a Ruins of Alf trainer. He's just chilling here. Chilling on the outside. That's all cool. Doesn't matter too much. So if a bro's leveling up, that's all good. Uh, but you know, I, I did enjoy Mumbadora. I felt it got a little, um, not grindy. Uh, this is where our third cave is, by the way. Uh, didn't get the grindy because there's no experience system in this game. But it did get a little, uh, obnoxious that you didn't get any stronger, but you'd have to keep backtracking a bit. And the only thing that kind of improved was your, your, uh, max health. So, pretty much I ended up just kind of tanking hits and then going, oh, okay, like, I can just continue on. Unfortunately, the game is very, uh, forgiving. You get so many, uh, healing items. Uh, it's kind of like the, um, the Essence Flasks in Dark Souls, where it's like, you've got so many of a healing item, but then every time you hit a save point, which is rather frequent, you just get them all back. So, you're just trying to wing how many, uh, you need until the next, uh, spot. I'm trying to figure out what's the border and what's not on, on this one. These pieces looked like the border, and now I'm like, oh boy. There's gotta be, like, a, a big... Maybe that's actually it. That's a... Yeah, that might be it. Yeah. I'd say that looks alright. That's... That's up there. Which means... There probably is a rather similar looking piece... On the left side? Nah, that's not quite it. actually it. Maybe that's not the, the side, instead it's like that. Or is it swapped? Swapped might look a little better there, yeah. It's not a sliding block puzzle by the way, it's just... <laughs> I'm just drag dropping basically. Trying to, trying to figure out, like, this is not even, like, pixel for pixel, you know what I mean? These are larger pixels. Can you tell what I'm looking at? Because I can't. tell what is like the bottom. This is probably the bottom. But that does look kind of weird. What's what's like the similar looking bottom? I think that might go over there and then I think there was like a face so maybe that's the edge of the face. Yeah that looks a bit better. And then I guess swap them.
Uh, keep swapping them. I'll get there eventually. Feet. Oh, that looks better. Okay, that looks better. Cool. <laughs> ah! And there's a strange presence here because, yes, there's more unknowns, but that's okay because I'm leaving. Uh, I'm gonna fly over to Azalea Town because I think it'll probably be a bit easier to fly from the bottom. Uh, to Iggy Azalea Town. I'm also gonna put Babat out. Oh, I'll put uh, Chicky up front. We'll just get some experience on Chicky. Why not? All right, so one more, one more puzzle, and then catching uh, another 15 unknown. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so yeah, I had to basically go to the bottom of this cave, anyways. I think the rappel is still active, isn't it? So there's this cliffside here. Oh. Might as well just use one more repel, why not? Dude, legit, legit. People who do like speedruns of this game, like knowing when to use repels is like such crazy, crazy smarts. Alright, so you need not only surf, but you also need strength in order to get this boulder out of the way. And what is what is your reward? Uh Another cave. I probably didn't need to, to do it that much. Oh well. Uh, so what am I looking at here? That looks like a corner. Uh, um, Yeah, uh, okay, that seems like a match. I'm not too sure where the corner is, really. This looks like a corner of some variety, and this looks like maybe the bottom, and maybe this is a corner. That seems alright. Uh, top? Is there a top right? This looks probably top right. This might go here. This is a, this is a bit of a mess of a, of a thing. Maybe, maybe the, this goes lower. Yeah, that looks a little better. And then, uh, I guess, maybe swap these? They've all got the same kind of matching kind of look about them. So I'm not even too sure. What am I, what am I looking at here? What am I really looking at? So I'm I'm thinking it's like there's a there's a there's a shell here. There's a shell shape. It's not quite looking alright. Oh, that might be a bit more in line. Not quite, nah.
Gosh. Oh, I feel like that goes there. And well, I've probably got something in the wrong spot here. Maybe these get swapped? Yeah, maybe there's... that? Maybe? No. <laughs> uh... Gosh. I don't think I can even tell what I'm looking at. Yeah, am I doing something, like, really wrong here, or, like... If someone can see it, like, tell me. Like, maybe I gotta... Maybe I gotta sit really far back. Maybe I just gotta, like, really squint, and I'll see it. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Like, that looks alright. All that looks fine, and then I chuck this in there, and I'm like, that's not... That's not quite it. Maybe this is not the bottom. Maybe this is the bottom. Instead. Yeah, maybe that looks a bit better. But then, what does go on the bottom? Maybe that's... Oh, maybe that's the corner. Oh, cool. Okay. Yay. Yay. There's a strange presence here. So now, all of these unknown are about to appear on me, and I've got to catch 14 more. I realize I caught the, uh, the W a little earlier. And I've still got the repel. How about let's, let's use it on a bike. Let's get rid of that repel. And also, let's switch, uh, toy wag up front. So for bro, you're back in, back into the fro. So yeah, um, yeah, I, Momodora, uh, it's a game, uh, it goes pretty cheap. It's actually, it's pretty cheap right now, so that's alright. Um, yeah, I'd say I enjoyed it a fair bit. Uh, it does have some kind of annoying achievements, I guess, on Steam. Uh, particularly, I guess, there was a little bit on finding the secrets and, and really trying to 100% the game. Except, yeah, what it requires you to do in order to... Uh, even get the good ending, I know, right, uh, is to uh, find an item somewhere on the map, bring it to another point on the map, and then you get a power, or you get a, one item that you can just, you can just, when you beat the, beat the boss, there's an extra phase at the end, and that's it. And that kind of did annoy me a bit, but that's okay. 100% uh, was not too bad, because the map isn't too big, and you get an item, you can buy an item that gives you a little ding-ding every time. Uh, you're in a room with a secret. So that's good fun. That's that's not too bad. It's, it's actually not too hard to uh, understand the secrets, but some of them are definitely, like, they're pretty, pretty all over the place. Like, you've got to pick up an item from somewhere and then give it to person. Like, you just have to know that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, the bosses, the bosses were a little spongy, but I did actually kind of like the variety of the bosses. There's a couple of, like, two-form or, or, like, second-go kinds of bosses. I guess there was that. But that's not too bad. I I actually think like it's pretty pretty top shelf for the three and a half hours that it gives you. And uh, yeah, some of the achievements I guess involve playing the game again without killing a single enemy that's not a boss. That is pain and suffering right there. They know, they know. So I just look at it and I go, ah, I just played the game once. I'm fine. Um, this was only yesterday uh, evening as well, so <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity to play the game again, but I don't know, there's some games where it's like I would like to 100% them. I'm currently doing a run of Dragon Quest Nine where I try and 100% that retro achievement set, which is good fun work. I'm just getting into that post game right now, and uh, I've actually, I've never played the post game to Dragon Quest Nine. Um, I'd always play the, the main story, and then go, yeah, okay, I'll get back into this later, and I never do, and this is now the, the third time I've been in that story. And, uh, and then you do, like, a little bit of an immediate side quest that you can see at the end of the game. Uh, like, there's a, there's a little post-credit scene kind of showing you, it's like, oh, you better go here. And then you do it, and then it's like, well, it's up to you to figure out the rest of the game. So you're like, oh, okay. Uh, so at that point, pull out all the wikis, pull out all the stops, try and figure out every single little detail that's left sitting in the game. Which is maybe what I'm doing right now. Maybe. The game's like, ah, okay. Got it. <laughs> I know, I know, I've got a 
gonna heal Surfer Pro at some point. So... I love how R looks like a P. I always get confused, but nah. This is definitely R. You fell asleep? Yeah, I... The only other game that I'm really still regularly playing as well is still Forza Horizon 5, which it's now the dry season in the game. That's cool. I now experience all the seasons and I go, yeah, I kind of like the seasons in this one. Even if they're not quite as clear as uh, summer, winter, autumn, uh, spring. Being like specifically tied to the weather event is actually kind of neat because uh, it makes it quite clear that like, yeah, that's, that's the case. Uh, winter in... Horizon uh, 4 was just kind of pain, so I'm glad that uh, the rain is that equivalent, but the rain is more like it's a foggy season as well, which is kind of neat, so. Look at this very phallic looking unknown right here. He knows what's up. Well, this is my last hypnosis, so I'll go for a heal after this one. You know, catching the unknown is a... Uh, it's a fun, like, little uh, extra thing in this game, because, I mean... And and actually, uh, it's something... And I, I, I do kind of realize I've probably got, like, an hour left of streaming this game before I go, oh, you know, I, I'm, I'm done, basically. Uh, and I kind of want to say that, like, yeah, I really do enjoy this game, and it actually does a lot of stuff for a Game Boy game. Like, that's, that's something to be kind of admired, is how much is crammed into this little game. Like, definitely, as an RPG experience, uh, you know, as we've seen, there's about 30 hours of content, but there's also catching all the different kinds of Pokemon, there's different ways to evolve different kinds of Pokemon, there's reading them and battling your friends against them, you've got, uh, lots of different kind of little secrets like this Ruins of Alf that you can uncover, uh, you can get a gambling addiction, that's always good fun. I don't need this unknown, so... Alright, let's, let's go back to Violet and just... Oh, I've gone an hour! The repel, the repel blocks the phone calls. And now that my repels are done, there's no, no hope. So... Fortunately, this is, well, this isn't quite Violet City, but sure. Uh, back in Violet. I was having a, yeah, I was having a chat with a, a, a friend on this one, and yeah, like, the thing that really carries Pokemon is there's a lot of, there's always a lot of, like, good variety in the games. Uh, there's a lot of great presentation and sound as well. Like, um, music is always catchy, uh, RPGs especially can be a bit daunting, and yet nothing of Pokemon feels too, like, obscure, um, probably because every person buys a primer guide to go with the game. Um, or they go on Bulbapedia, or they go on Cerebi, one of the two. Uh, but I, I, like, as, as the guy who's had a Munchlax as his avatar on, on the internet for probably about 14, 15 years now, hey, I, I enjoy Pokemon. I, it's definitely not a perfect franchise, and, and there's still quirks to some of these games, but... Uh, at least at their older time, they're very ambitious for what they do, and I'd say Gold really nails it. I'd say, yeah, th this game really does a great job of of, of uh, expanding upon the mechanics of the first game. Crystal really expands upon what it means to be a special edition, and not just you are Pikachu, and there are the Team Rocket, like from the from the TV show. Do you remember this? And then it does like absolutely nothing different otherwise. Like, yeah, there's some you know more subtle differences with, uh, Pokemon Yellow, but legit, like, Crystal adds in quite a fair bit more. Uh, I've shown off the base game of Gold and Silver. I didn't even show off Crystal. <laughs> uh, so, that's, uh, that's one for you all to discover. Uh, I recommend playing this game as well. If you've got a 3DS, you can buy any of those three. And, uh, everything I've done, you can do as well, because I'm not showing off trading. Or Actually, you can do trading in that one, so, never mind. Yeah, but no, I've, I've enjoyed playing this again. Uh, I've I've definitely felt as well that, like, I've been playing this game for a long time. 
Uh, and not just because it was one of my more older childhood kinds of games, but also because uh, this was one of the two games that I very briefly played on my channel before I decided to give it a bit of a hiatus. So I played four videos of it, and the plan was at that time to do two videos of Pokemon Gold, uh, half an hour each, and then one hour long video of Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. And I'll, I'll get around to that game eventually, because I do, I would like to play it, uh, but I, I'd also like to say, yeah, in the same way as this game where I don't quite know everything off the top of my head and I'm just going to kind of have uh, some, you know, wiki notes and stuff on the side. Uh, that's another game where if I wanted to really show off everything and actually pull off like a Chuck Conroy kind of style run, I'd have to do that. I'd have to have my notes open. So I could play the game a lot more casually, and I think I might actually do that because, like, legitimately trying to find all the little things just for the achievements doesn't really add up to much. So, uh, but yeah, I, I might play that one. Maybe not. Not at all next. I, I'd, I'd like to figure out some other games uh, to play in the meantime. Um, and I guess, yeah, if they were half hour videos, that would have been 60 uploads. Because I've done, this is 15 streams, they're about two hours. It might be even a little longer than that. 60, maybe closer to 70. Two a week means that would have been like a solid half year of just Pokemon content if I didn't have any breaks in the middle. Uh, so, I feel like doing the stream format, even if I'm still doing the same amount of uh, inevitable uploads and stuff, I know this is what everyone comes to the YouTube channel for, to hear, or, or Twitch channel, to, to hear discussions of uh, how you make your videos, or that kind of stuff, but, uh, legitimately, like, I, I've, I've definitely enjoyed, and, and I've, I've enjoyed playing this in the stream format, and I feel like it's a lot more stream of conscious, it's just, I, I don't have to... Uh, really pretend to know what I'm doing <laughs> because because Pokemon still got a lot of like stuff under the hood uh, that I'm not too sure about. But it's a fun game, anyways. You don't have to know how Pokemon works. You don't have to know all those like nitty gritty uh, kinds of formulae that it's doing for catch rate. All you gotta know is like, yeah, the the Pokeball catches and the sleep helps, and and you go with that. And, and I guess that's. Uh, perhaps, perhaps this is analogous. This is, uh, me returning to a simpler and more primitive form of just record and then upload. Granted, record with, you know, some nicer production quality, having, having, you know, some live chat, uh, having some decent, uh, quality as well. Like, we're not back in the unregistered Hypercam 2 days of the internet. I, I can, I can legit record some, some video and not have it be trash quality. Uh, but I also think, yeah, like, you know, you don't have to put in a crazy production budget or a crazy, like, editing budget just to play Pokemon and put it on the internet. You can do whatever you want. And, uh, as long as you have a good time doing it, I think that's probably the best part. Doesn't matter if no one interacts in your chat, doesn't matter if no one even watches your video. If you have a good time making the video, and you gain something out of it, so I'm gaining something because it gives me an excuse to play Pokemon again. And it also gives me an, an excuse to vent about topics, to uh, kind of formulate, I've found, I'm just, you know, trying to formulate sentences a bit better. Uh, too much crazy, crazy lockdown, uh, you know, you <laughs> to get out and talk to people, so, yeah, no, it's all good. Just... Can't use Pokeballs though, <laughs> that's the one... The one thing. Uh, how many... I think there's... I'm counting nine unknown, including this one left. And this one is gonna take all the Pokeballs. Wow. Is the catch rate really that bad, or am I just ultra unlucky? Because I swear, like... You should be able to catch, like... Two out of five times, without the sleep this Pokemon should be able to get caught in the Pokeball. Maybe the, the catch rate is wildly different and it suddenly now it's just easy to catch things? I don't remember it being like this obnoxious just to catch like a, an unknown while it's sleeping. While it's sleeping, what is going on? Oh my gosh, jeez. 
The worst part as well is that I was not expecting the ruins of Alphabet to take this long because I've got two more things to try out as well. I know, I know. So, uh... So two things I want to show off before I end my, this stream. Uh... Fortunately, one of them doesn't have to be successful, but I just want to give it a show off. Uh, and then someone will yell at me if I don't actually succeed at it, but... Oh, okay, so all I gotta catch is N, P, Q, S, U, V, W, uh, X, and Z. No W. Walking around... I am walking a around all the time. I love that you can catch Smeargle on the outside as well, if you, um, I think after you surf, because you gotta cross a bit of water. Actually, no, sorry, I was in the, um, the, the bit with the trainer. That one lingering trainer there, so. There may be, uh, a handful of trainers I haven't fought as well. Like, this is not a... Absolute, like, 100% kind of show off. Like, obviously, I've walked past quite a few items and that kind of stuff, but I don't know. Some people out there are probably really, really into that. I don't need you. I don't need you. This is this is the fun part of the the unknown run. Trying to trying to catch the the last few. But yeah, we'll get there. So yeah, I guess uh, with that, I just as a, a mild kind of personal though, I, I guess this last like year has definitely been a, a big like personal development for me, uh, both inside of of course the the Twitch stuff and all that stuff's been happening over the past year, but also just as like I'm really uh, I guess like growing as a as a person outside of YouTube and stuff. I got work that's getting better. Uh, I've got hobbies and a bit of like weird weird recognition and weird bits. Like uh, all that Clone Era stuff that I did. Uh, I guess that would have been all last year, but it's like, man, that, that's still kind of crazy that like that all, that all scene happened. And, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate that like people like the things I do there. So that's all good, but it also made me realize that, uh, you know, some things of like, yeah, like, I've got to communicate things as, as a developer to people who don't... Oh, so first first time I can catch this, now it's, now it's like, oh, okay. Do I have to change boxes? Or is it just gonna, like, go to the next box? We'll see. And we got another G! Still another seven to go. I'm at 19. Which isn't too bad, actually, when you think about it, because I was at three when I started doing this Ruins of Outfit just maybe like 40 minutes ago, or 50 minutes ago. And here's another one. Ah! <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like, I, I felt, hey, there's a lot of, like, personal development skills that, you know, I, I'm even getting at work and I really appreciate it. I get to design things, uh, or I'm designing more things than I, you know, than I had before. I'm not just like receiving a spec, just going, how do I, how do I do this? Oh, okay, now I'm gonna do the nitty gritty of figuring out how to put A to B. Instead, now it's like, well, now I've got to figure out that you even want to put A to B. Uh, and then you got to convince people who have no knowledge of programming how exactly or why, it, for some people, how it works, and for other people, just. Like, how does it work for people who really don't know what they're doing? Um, so all that Clone Hero stuff was definitely a great, like, starting grounds for it, but even, you know, my work's given me great opportunities to develop into that. And I'm definitely just enjoying, uh, kind of developing just skills and stuff like that. Um, I would like to re-pick up maybe some old hobbies. I used to do a bunch of, like, music composition. Some people might look around my YouTube channel and see that there's uh, strange clips of, yeah, Sibelius, just being Sibelius. Um, and uh, yeah, there's there's definitely that, and I, I would like to 
continue getting back into that. Um, trying to yeah, balance balance hobbies and stuff is always a fun one, but yeah, no, I've I've definitely felt uh, just a lot of I guess like development over the past year, and in doing so as well, uh, I've felt that I'm more in a position, and this is one for me, more in a position to to be a lot more generous because I used to not not that I used to like think only of myself but I used to not think that I had wiggle room basically uh, and now it's like well now I feel hey like I've learned a bunch and I feel like I can naturally keep learning more stuff given the position I'm in but I've got time I can I can talk to people and if people want to listen you know I will, I will tell you of, of mine ways. Uh, is it necessarily great ways? I don't know, but... Who knows? <laughs> so, uh... But generous also in the sense of like, oh, I've actually got like, you know, legit income, so... Uh, I used to always rely on my parents and stuff for like, oh, like, how do we... Who do we get Christmas presents for? How do we, like, what do, what do they get? Christmas friends are always hard. I never know what to get people. Birthdays as well, it's like... You know, like, I, I know, like, some people are like, oh, just get a gift, and then it's just, like, give them a receipt or something. It's like, oh, but, like, that's a gift. Like, they thought you wanted that. So if you don't want that, then you've got to somehow communicate that kind of stuff more to them. Uh, you also run into the risk, I guess, of, of, uh, buying something that someone else gets. So, I guess, man, and he's gone. No, I lost the Zed. Ah, oh, can't believe it. Uh, but yeah, like, I gotta figure out all this stuff, because I've legit never done this before. I've legit, like, never, like, bought people- I bought some of my friends, like, just, like, a couple of Steam games. I know that they wanted those Steam games. They're on their wish list, And I like those Steam games, so I was like, oh, I know they'll have a good time playing them. But then it's like, well, man, you know, you give gifts to, like, you know, your family and stuff. And... Quite a bunch of this family is like, yeah, I, mean, I don't talk to them, like, too many times a year, so I've got to figure out things that they would like. It's a very, it is a very, like, consumerist kind of approach to things, isn't it? But, uh, it's also one where, like, yeah, you know, it's a tough year. I think everyone kind of deserves something nice, so. Eh, I'll get something. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna heal after this one, because, uh... I, I mean, there's five more unknowns, and... Or if I catch this one right now, then four more, and I've got four hypnoses, and I don't think that's gonna be enough. Why is it that sometimes it's immediate and sometimes it takes forever? Alright, so that's four more unknown. Q, U, V, and Z. I'll take another stab. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Good evening, you're alert. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, nah. That's, that's a bit of that existential dread of getting older, but also, I mean, I don't know, like... I feel like I'm, I'm kind of... <laughs> Comfortable enough to participate in these consumerist kinds of things. I keep mentioning consumerism a lot. I don't know. The season of Christmas definitely gets a lot of that, but I think the important part for everyone is it's uh, it's going to be time with families. I'm meeting people that you probably never saw in a long time. This is a queue, by the way. Could you tell? I can't. I can barely tell that's a queue. Uh. Yeah, no. Nah, no, nah, so. And it's crazy, I've actually felt that this year has gone rather quick. Like, I guess... Rel relatively, last year was a ver very slow year for me. I didn't feel like a lot happened, I felt like it just dragged on, it was just day after day after day. I've definitely felt I've done a lot this year, but in doing so it's also meant, hey, you know, it's December in on Wednesday. That, like, that's sinking in, it's like, this is the last month of the year, there are less than, 
There are 33 days left in the year, including today, which is nearly done. For me. Uh, for you in the US, maybe not. Uh, so I was like, you know, that's, that's in the last 10%. But yet, I don't know, like, I feel like I've done a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of... Hi there, Bill. Hi, Bill. Oh, it's me, Bill. Thanks for using my storage system. The last Pokemon you sent filled your box up. You'll have to switch boxes if you want to... Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. They give you a prompt. They give you a prompt. So now I've got to go back and switch boxes. Thanks, guys. Alright, wait, there's a PC in here, isn't there? No, there's no PC. Are you gonna tell me anything about... I don't catch will be all recorded. Okay. I think they give you a gift at the end. If not, then cool. I'm just showing off that you can catch all 26. Cool. Alright, time to switch the boxes. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, for anyone who's played like only third gen onwards, this is what we had to struggle through on second gen. It's not too bad. It, it's actually not that bad, because it's like, oh, 20 Pokemons. That's a fair bit of Pokemon to go without, like, having any, you know, like, break or anything. Uh, I forgot how many boxes they have in the game. It's 12, isn't it? It's a pretty large number. And it's different in the Japanese version. It's, it's just somewhat a different number. Uh... Now we're in this point where it's like, you got Pokemon Bank, man, you got all this stuff. And you can still send glitch Pokemon all over the place, because no one does any verification as to whether a Pokemon can legitimately be created. Maybe they do sometimes, but... Yeah, no, that's some, that's some existential adulting for you all, I, I don't know. I don't know how to... how to phrase it. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, but... Uh, and someone's gonna, like, pick apart, like, we're gonna find some of my, like, 12-year-old streams and, or 12-year-old videos and then go, like, oh, like, you know... You were talking about, like, passing or, like, hating, like, primary school. I'm like, oh, I probably was. <laughs> but... Eh. I always talk about what's kind of relevant to me. And that seems to... that seems to keep showing up. But... that's all fine. That's all fine. Is someone gonna do a big psychoanalysis of analysis? Sorry. Analyst? Ooh. That's a that's a word. I wanna catch uh you. That's that's the unknown. Is is it you? It never shakes twice in this game. I don't think it does. Well that's a you, so. Two more. V and uh, Z for the US people and Z for people who speak the maiden's language. We're gonna get any more unknown? That's it. We're all done. There's no more. Alright, so out of all the unknown, V is probably the one that looks the most bizarre. Like, I'd, I'd never think it's legit. It just looks so weird. Actually, just as an extra thing, do you think it's weird that they're using the entirety of the, uh, the Roman character set? Not like any Japanese? I thought that's an interesting one. I, again, again, I find how, like, there's not a lot of English media that will use Japanese. There's definitely some out there, and, you know, they'll have maybe things spoken in Japanese, but written in Japanese, I don't know, it doesn't show up, like, a ton, but you'll have, at least relatively, Japanese things with English, or English words, or just all this stuff. There's a lot of that out there. And, uh... Particularly, like, oh, I guess some of it is... Like, Romaji, like it's Katakana. To basically transliterate a, an English word. Uh, I guess they do a lot of that, but they also, like... We don't, you know, we don't have English sentences and then things written in Hiragana. We don't have that happen a lot, but they'll definitely write things in Roman characters. And I don't know how how many Japanese uh, schools, I guess, teach at least the, the English character set. Definitely not. Uh, you gotta go out of your way to, to learn hiragana. All that kind of crazy stuff. I I will forever still not understand how to how to learn kanji. 
it's absolutely terrifying just like how many different kinds there are. And then it's just like, here's a word, I will write in Hiragana a bunch of times and then it's just, now I'm just gonna, you know, write this like, little house. I'll write this, <laughs> drawing a bit of a shape here, and it's on you to, to realize that this means water, this means left, this means red. It's like, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, interestingly, I didn't find, like, I, I've done, like, some Duolingo on Japanese. Uh, back when they were, like, doing way old betas of it, uh, I actually hit the end of the course, but I don't feel like it really stayed in my mind very much. I think I, it, I, I mean, granted as well, like, uh, I used to do a bunch of, like, Latin at high school. Uh, I know, nerd. And, uh, <laughs> legit, like, the vocabulary has escaped me. The language structure, like, if I had a dictionary out, I could take every word and know where, like, what part of speech it's, it is and generally formulate a sentence out of it, but, uh, and unfortunately Latin's a bit forgiving, like, because no one speaks it, it's all just like, oh, like, you know, the rough interpretation of what it means. Uh, hopefully it's not up in the air. I guess some Latin is. Like, it's an ablative. What does that mean? It could mean you're using something with something. It could mean you're at a place because it's technically locative case. It's like, oh my gosh. I keep, I keep like second guessing myself because I see an S and then I'm like, is that a Z? And it's like, no, that's not a Z. It's been a hot minute since I've seen an unknown that I've needed to catch. Uh, please give me one. No, oh, come on. Come on. So, I've always wanted to actually like properly learn Japanese and purely for like kind of not selfish means in the sense of like well, like selfish means in the sense of like I don't really intend to speak it but I definitely do want to you know play video games that are only released in Japan there's a whole lot of video games out there uh, and I feel like I'm definitely missing out on a lot of like really nice ones that never get translated into English uh, and in doing so also there are people out there who do fan translations and Maybe, maybe there's a part for me to, to participate in that, because that feels like it's a, it's a skill or something that's kind of in demand. There's a lot of media that needs to be translated into different languages. It's not necessarily going to be a, an occupation of mine. Um, and I feel like uh, there's a bit of a reputation some, some translators or some like groups of translators seem to get sometimes. I remember um, when uh, the, the East franchise... That's a wonderful sound if you heard that one. Uh, I remember the East franchise, and that's a franchise I've never played any games of, uh, but they exchanged publishing hands from Xseed to, uh, to, uh, I guess it would have been, uh, Nipponichi. It's, uh, and, uh, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. And, uh, people complained, because, like, oh, no, they're gonna butcher the translation, and then the game came out, and I think I heard I saw random screenshots that did kind of look like the translation was just not as, like, accurate as it could be, I guess. Uh, and that's not as accurate as it could be given someone else's translation of something. Uh, I, I always love that about, like, translations. Like, if something is Japanese and you don't know Japanese, someone can tell you it means something very, very different to what it probably does mean. Uh, and there's a fair bit of Japanese where it can be different. Like, there may be words where... Uh, you know, the ordering is a bit different, so it, you know, I think there's, like, uh, voice, or, sorry, like, tone, um, politeness, so there's a, there's a phrase for it, where it's like, oh, you say something in a polite way, and then it's like, well, you know, what would that translate to in English, because we don't have that kind of, uh, structure in English, so... I'm really hoping that these unknown appear, jeez. I want to get a V and I want to get a Z. And that's an S. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to do a count of how many of each of these I get because it's going to be, abs you know, wrong, wrong distribution. And the worst part is that we saw a Z earlier. Oh, wait. Was it a Z? Maybe it was also another S. Maybe I actually haven't. No, no, it was a Z. Okay, there's one. This is the V. What is that? That's not a V! 
That's an eight. That's a teacup. Why's it got the little lip on the end? Is that like people's handwriting of a uh, of V? The weirdest part as well is that also uh, a sizable number of uh, the unknowns are like uppercase. This is a little tiny V. That's not uppercase. Actually, I think it might be the only one that's not uppercase. Oh no, R. Uh, oh, no, actually, R uh, might be. You think it's weird that the Greek alphabet, the, um, the uppercase versions look absolutely nothing like the lowercase ones? Whereas, in English, it's... mostly good. A is, like, the weird one. A is legit the weird one out of the bunch. And B... Actually, yeah, there's a, there's a handful. There are a handful of weird ones. Like, P... P looks alright, Q is definitely wrong, D is definitely a bit weird, E is a bit weird. Hey look, that's a Z, just straight up. Cool. Give him the hypnosis. Call it a day. Uh, okay. Let's go in, let's go in for the Pokeball. And let's just get him. Easy, please. Please E. No, bad. Bad Pokemon. How dare you do that. Well, this took a bit longer than I expected. Hopefully people enjoyed last stream. Here I go, spending an hour catching unknowns. Might as well just catch the entire Pokedex while I'm at it. Ah. Uh. I love the, the unknowns though, and I, I, I appreciate that they kept up this kind of uh, Pokemon that had very, like, some variety in, in appearance sometimes. So like Spinda, for example, uh, in, in third gen. Uh, Shellos in fifth gen, sorry, fourth gen. Um, trying to think of another one. It was like a, like a deer Pokemon, it had like different, uh, Deerling. It had like different seasons. Um, so it would like change cat class form as well, has different forms. Uh, remember as well, there was like a, not Go-Go, but I remember there being like another Pokemon that had like some, a handful of like different varieties. And then 4th gen had also like, uh, quite a lot of the Pokemon, different genders would like add or, you know, have a different little thing with the sprite. Uh, I definitely liked having all those different, uh, bits going on. So. Anyways, that's all the unknowns. Nothing happens. <laughs> nah, if I go into the, the unknown mode... So, it's G. Oh, these are all in order as well. Uh, so, G, I, E, B, F, K, uh, C, D, H, A, J, W, O, L, R, Y, T, M, N, S, P, uh, that's an X, sorry. Q, U, V, and Z. So let's see if uh, any of the researchers care, because I swear that was 26, wasn't it? You caught all the unknown variations? That's great achievement! I've set up the printer here for handling unknown. Feel free to use it anytime. So yeah, if you use this, you can actually print uh, the words, I think. That's your reward. That must mean there are many kinds of them. Okay. That's your reward. Cool. <laughs> so... That's... That's part number three. That's... That's thing number three I wanted to show off. Thing number four... Puts me in a bit of an interesting predicament. So what I'm gonna do with thing number four is... I'm gonna take one stab at it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to take one stab at it. Uh, for reference, I was flying to... yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta cross that one step. Alright, so, let's heal, and then let's figure out the party. Alright, so, the bit that I'm very, very concerned about is that this game has a super boss. It's got a a boss that's actually like really strong and it's up to you 
to know how to, I guess, be good. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save here just so that, uh, because I'm gonna teach some HMs that I'm never gonna actually keep. Uh. So let's, uh, let's go into my PC. Let's deposit all the trash I have. There we go. So now, you need, I believe, you need three TMs. Three HMs. You need Surf, you might need Flash, and you do need Waterfall. Uh, and I'm in box three as well, so whoops. Yeah, let's not change boxes after uh, after I start doing stuff here. So, uh, so let's load. Let's get my team up. I technically could have Lugia as well. Can Lugia won waterfall because that actually would get past like the one catch I have. It can. Oh, okay. Well, stop it. I'm using Lugia. Oh. <laughs> let's get Lugia. Out. Who's the who's the unlucky person on my team then? I do want Hot Doggo. Hot Doggo is probably going to be good stuff. Uh... Oh, it's just not going to be, like, a great level. Uh... I'm going to need No One Boy, because I do need Surf, so there is that. And... Do I go in with Fluffer? Or do I go in with her? I actually, you know what's the worst part? I'm not really enjoying my use of Heracross in this, in this, uh, run. And that's, that's such a tragedy, because Heracross is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna go with, uh, with Fluffer on this one. I think having the electric type is what I'm gonna need, so. Well, in doing that, uh, let's check, uh, Lugia's moves as well, while I'm at it. There's Lugia. Hi there, Lugia. How you doing? Level 70. Okay. You got Recover, you got Hydro Pump, you got Rain Dance, you got Swift. That's a bit of an air move list, so why don't, let's fix it a bit. Uh, first of all, uh, how about let's just save here, just so I've, I've cut that there. Uh, cause I know I'm not, I'm, oh, I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna be on the fence of whether I can legitimately do this. Uh, so let's teach two things. One, you're gonna need Waterfall. Uh, you might need uh, flash, but I'm gonna try and cheese it without flash. We'll see how we go. So Lugia can learn waterfall. Uh, we can use that over recover. I flat out, I'm not gonna need recover. So that's the big one. Uh, what other moves? I mean, you, you do know swift, but you could also just learn strength. Uh, steel wing could be an alright attack. But I probably want something Psychic type. Like Psychic. So I, well, let's just teach Psychic. Why not? And then, uh... I'm gonna teach her over Rain Dance. I think the setup for, for Rain Dance is a bit too much. And then, uh, I don't know. What else do you teach? Zap Cannon? That'd be a bit of a meme. But let's just stick with that. We've got Swift as like a fallback move. Alright. So now, I'm gonna wander all over. And we're gonna head over to Mount Silver. That's all the way on this side. Uh, you gotta scroll up. And then go back down. And then don't go too far down. And now... In the mountains. Uh, oh, dude, wait, hold on. <laughs> You need cut to continue through here. That was the one thing I forgot about. Uh... No, you're safe actually. Yeah. You need cut in order to access the house, but you don't need cut to to get up to the house. So yeah. I'm gonna be absolutely stuffed. Let's see how this goes. I guess this is an extra thing. 
Who in my party can learn Flash? Just so I know who, who can learn Flash. I absolutely hate Flash. It's, like, it just sucks that, like, it's a it's a real, like, average move as well. Uh, would I teach you the no one boy? What's his... Oh, wait, sorry, not no one boy. No, but, uh, Fluffer, because I keep using, um... Oh, I hit B twice. Can't learn it. No. Yes, stop learning. Oh my gosh, this is such a, such a, uh, from, uh, Fluffer, there we go. So Fluffer's trying to learn Flash. Can't learn more than four, four moves. Like, if I win, then cool, like, win. Uh, let's get rid of Tackle. Why not? I can undelete that and then just teach Strength instead. It's a way better attack. Good old Ursa Ring. Who is my friend of the party? Babat. Oh, easy. And even better, let's use one more, one more of those, uh, repels. These repels, they're lasting me the whole, the whole thing. Alright, so keep going across, and this is at this point. You go and you surf. Uh, I could have just walked up a little bit, <laughs> cool. Alright, in we go. This is Mount Silver, or otherwise known as Mount Completely Pitch Black. It's got its own music. That's how you know how important it is. Uh, so Mount Silver is home to a couple of uh, items. I have two things open for the... Not that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's got a couple of items just sitting there. X accuracy, you know, always a great... Actually, I think none of these are really worthwhile. Might be like Ultra Ball or Escape Rope or something like that, but I don't need them. I don't even think any of these you really need. They're just like full resource or that kind of stuff, but definitely if you don't have Flash, uh, good luck here. It's not a complex route, it's just going up, find the cave. Now you got the second cave. Uh, I don't know why there's a map, maybe there's a crystal one. Uh, actually, I guess you don't need waterfall. Whoops, I've taught waterfall when you don't need it. Anyways, in here. Oh, yeah, who, who do you go up against? Uh, I'm putting Noah Boy up front. This is gonna be a gutsy go. This is gonna be a gutsy go. Take a final look at this. Look at these team levels. I've, I didn't even realize before the stream, I've not leveled up anyone past level 50. Ooh, this is gonna be. Yeah. Uh, what level are the wild Pokemon here? 48, they're rather high. So if you need a bit of that last second grinding, uh, which I guess I will need this very second. Uh, whoops. Uh, fine. I'll use Surf. I'll use Surf. He wants it. He wants it. Alright, so, uh, yeah, who... What can you get in this cave? Uh, you can get Graveler, Onyx, Ursa Ring, uh, in Gold, Domfaron, Silver, Golbat, Lavatar. That's a fun one. And then, uh, in the second floor, Golduck, Quagsire, Ursa Ring, Domfaron, Mistrevis at night time, Golbat, and Lavatar. So come all the way up to the top. Ah! <laughs> There's another Onyx! There's another Onyx! So, uh, for reference as well, if I don't do this, I just wanted to show that you can try doing this. I don't really want to commit to, to doing it, but if I can win, then cool. I am going to spam my revives in full resource, if need be. I'm still holding on to them, I think. I think I'm still holding on to them. I should probably double check. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still, uh, it's not a healthy amount, but it's, um, come up to this guy and he's like, Meet Red, the protagonist out of the first Pokemon game. He comes at you with all the stops pulled out. He comes out with Pikachu. It's level 81. Ah, it knows charm, quick attack, thunderbolt, and thunder. It is fortunately 
Well, I guess it knowing quick attack is still a bit of a doozy, but you know, at least quick attack is its strongest attack they can use against no one boy here. Now, I have the benefit of what just happened? What? <laughs> I'm 35 levels under it. Okay, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, like, don't worry about the levels too much because, and <laughs> it's trying to learn rain dance. No, uh, don't worry about the levels too much because remember, you do have uh, effort values, so your Pokemon is just naturally stronger, and also. Uh, all your Pokemon are also boosted by your badges. Except for, um, Dark-type. Rip Dark-type. But ev since you've got all 16 badges, every single type is stronger by 12.5%. Uh, he's gonna send out Venusaur. It's level 77. It's got Sunny Day, Solar Beam, so watch out for that combo. Giga Drain and Synth Synthesis. I've got Psychic on a Lugia. I've planned this one out. But Lugia doesn't have any effort values because he's a he's a fresh catch. So this might, yeah, this isn't gonna be as much of wipe. Also, Venusaur is a bit of a bit of a gutsy boy. Him knowing Sunny Day is gonna be a little bit of a doozy though. Not that because he's gonna use Solar Beam, but because he's got he's got a Fire type Pokemon. So there we go. Let's get get him there. Good experience though, and you can keep refighting this guy as well. So. Okay, he's going out with Blastoise instead. Cool. Uh, I'm curious who I'm going to take out Blastoise with. I've got... I'm going to go out with Chicky. Chicky, I think, is the safe bet. Alright, so here comes Blastoise. It's level 77. It knows Rain Dance, Blizzard, Surf, and Whirlpool. I wish I knew Solar Beam. Uh, I guess I can kick him with a... Oh, wait, yeah. Whoops. He's got Blizzard. That's gonna kill Chicky just straight up. That's there's no hope in that one. Nah. Ah, oh, bad switch on my end. Bad switch. The worst part as well is yeah, I don't particularly have anything that great against this. Uh. Whirlpool. I, like I can I can deal with Whirlpool, but it's definitely oh, that's a remarkably low amount of damage. Jeez. I don't think my Thunder Punch is going to do a ton, because Blastoise is a bit bulky, but... He's going to he's gonna cop me with this kind of passive damage, and then he's just going to hit me with Surf. I didn't think... Or even worse. Actually, I don't think Blizzard is... Which is going to do more damage, Blizzard or Surf? Who knows? I don't think I'll kill, nah. I do need to get out of this position, though. Oh, it's cutting it. I'm cutting it, but I should be fine. I should be fine. There you go. So, let's go into the pack. Uh, do I have any max potions? I do have max potion. More appropriate spot for a max potion. Oh, I w <laughs> I'm not expecting the Blastoise to be the sweep on my uh, against me. And I think he can still use items, can't he? I also don't know if the game abides by, uh... That's... that's not comforting in any way. That is really not comforting. That he can just do that much damage in one go. Maybe I'll just go back to Lugia. I should've used those, uh... Rare candies as well. <laughs> oh! Dude, if I somehow pull this out, I swear, I got no clue. He's not gonna miss. He's not gonna miss. Fluffer is just a goner. Like, best I can do is he misses. But, like, it's Surf. He's not gonna miss, so... So, best I got is let's rely on Lugia, because Babat's gonna get wrecked by... Blizzard. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need, uh... No one, boy. Later. Uh, I can't use... <laughs> Hydro Pump, but I can definitely try using Psychic. I've got the... Okay. The nice thing about using the Legendary is at least he's got some killer stats. So... Him using Rain Dance is not too bad. That's not bad. 
There we go. Okay, three down. I'm also two down, but I've got a I've got a plan at least. Well, not a plan, but and now he's about to use Espion. So this is oh boy, this is where I start going. Ooh, ooh, do I have a plan on this one? So here comes Espion. Uh, Espion knows Mud Slap, Swift, Reflect, and Psychic. Uh, I guess I also know Psychic, but I'm gonna kick him with the Hydro Pump because it's raining! Look at that wonderful setup you just did, Blastoise. Good on ya. Uh, this is his lowest level. Also, it's not exactly a first gen Pokemon. Uh, but Espeon is absolutely killer. Abs like, out of all. all the, uh. the Eevee evolutions, I'd probably say Espeon's the strongest one in this game. Followed by maybe Jolteon. Well, I guess this is a Lugia sweep, isn't this? Jeez. I was gonna send out Snorlax. Oh boy. Uh, let's go on with a hot doggo. Yeah. Here comes Snorlax, level 75. It knows Amnesia, Snore, Rest, and Body Slam. Dare to hit this with any kind of special attack, and yeah, nah. Just hit it with physical attacks. Snorlax does not have that high physical defense. Think. Or it's the reverse. And I'm completely blanking out. No, oh, yeah, that's special defense. Uh, I also did barely any damage. That's not a comforting amount of damage. And, and also, remember, Snorlax is kind of... Oh, how come he can... Well, actually, I, <laughs> I was using... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Just freaking get in there. Well, <laughs> Snorlax is uh, a bit too good. Alright, well, let's rely on Lugia yet again. I know no one boy has an attack, but I need him for the one last Pokemon, so... We're getting with Lugia, uh... I guess I'll just hit him with Psychic. I know he's got absolutely crazy special defense, I just want to see how much damage this is going to do. Virtually none. And he's going to be spamming Amnesia. Oh boy, I should have totally taught Strength. That's okay, that's okay. I've got this. Gonna do a bit of damage. It's gonna do a. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, the trouble is, I don't think I've got a, a sweep because, uh. Yeah, his, his moves, remember. Body. Oh, sorry, rest! Uh. You know, I can't afford it, so I'm gonna legit use a full restore on this one. The best you can get is uh, winging it with Hot Doggo with extreme speed, but he doesn't get too many uses of that. It's not like I can easily switch to it, so I'm just relying on him to not use rest. Or I get a crit. Oh my gosh, maybe he's just not using rest! Maybe he's just not using rest! He's just not using rest. Okay, okay, I've got, I've got this. How do, how do I have this? How do I have this? Legit, legit. How much grinding did I need to do after fighting my rival on the victory road just to get absolutely walloped on, on a, on the um, elite four? And then it's just, eh, just take your team, like level late forties, tackle on red. It's fine. All right, so this is Char Lizard. Charizard. He's got Flamethrower, Wing Attack, watch out, Slash, and Fire Spin. Uh, he's got absolutely nothing against no one, boy. Uh, so as a, as a post-mortem for the team, uh, Rip, um, anyone who's not Lugia, apparently, and Quagsire. Quagsire is, like, the one, like, saving grace on my entire team. I guess I could still be using Lugia and use, a uh, Hydro Pump, but... How much of a, like, a trump card is Lugia against his team? Like, jeez. That's a lot of damage for the flamethrower, jeez. But I think I might be able to get in with uh, two hits. 
Like a uh, heal then hit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go on with the full restore. Let's go on with the full restore. Cool, cool. Alright. So what I'm hoping is that it's not half my health. I think it's a bit under. Ah, oh, it's a bit over. It's a bit over. Ah. Stop it. Stop it. We're, go <laughs> We're going back to Lugia. Well, okay. If you want to beat Red, just, just take out your Lugia. And give him Psychic. That, that just seems to be... <laughs> Seems to be the best thing against this whole team. Oh well. Uh, still. Still. So, anyway, here's Lugia. Arrgh. I've got three more uses of Hydro Pump. Ah, oh, dang it. He's got me in the spin. I remember Lugia is not water type, so, uh, any fire type attacks are gonna be fire. There we go. Yeah, Hydro Pump's got a bit of a crazy low accuracy, but uh, when it hits, it's a uh, way strong attack, so... And that's it! I was not expecting to win! I was also not expecting Lugia to just be absolutely amazing. Uh, Red is speechless, still. And then the game just goes... And then the credits roll! So that's the legit ending of the game. I really was not expecting to do that. So... I think I've kind of shown off basically everything in the game. I think the only things I didn't really get to show off were uh, uh, things that happen on different days. Because I've been streaming on Mondays all the time, so you've only been seeing what happens on Mondays. The Clefairy thing does happen on Mondays, but there's the bug catching contest, which only happens on Tuesdays, Thursday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. There's the uh, haircut person who's only there on some days. There's the people who are there on different days of the week. Uh, give you different items just around the town. So it's definitely that, but hopefully, hopefully I think over these 15 streams, uh, you all have gotten a great understanding of how a bunch of this game works. Enjoyed me on this time as I've caught a bunch of random Pokemon and proceeded to never use them because this final fight, I exclusively used Quagsire and Lugia. But, and I kept using Quagsire a lot. So Quagsire is the MVP of the team, I guess. Uh, but that... Yeah, that being said, I, I'll i still say, like, Gold is... It's a real fun game for me, because it's very pure in what Pokémon really is. It's a game where you do a bunch of catching, and you battle, and that's kind of it. It gets rid of a lot of the bugs. It's not exactly immune to the bugs, and... Tune, stay tuned, because I'm... Uh, so stay tuned implies I'm doing it after the stream. I'm doing this after the credits. I want to whip out this one glitch, which... Uh, I know of, and you guys may know of if you looked really into this game, but if you haven't looked into this game, then this is actually a rather crazy glitch. Uh, and I ended, you know, I ended my Pokemon Blue on a glitch, so let's end Pokemon Gold on a glitch. The end. And yeah, that's, that's it, by the way. You got lovely second credits. And then the game chucks you out here with, a. Uh, no Pokemon that knows why, so. Am I on the other side? No, I was gonna say, am I on the other side of the, uh... Oh wait, that's a Pokemon Center. I don't know why I'm not just going. And the Repel War. <laughs> cool. Alright, so, let's adjust that party bit. Uh, so first of all, uh, you want... You want a, a dumb Pokemon, so let's get rid of Lugia. Uh, you want two Pokemon, actually. Two dumb Pokemon. So, uh... Let's, uh... Yeah, let's put Fluffer out. Yeah, yeah. And then let's, uh, take out... Two Pokemon. I'm gonna take out... Let's, let's get the Juicer. Let's bring him back. Bring him back from the grave. And... You want a specifically low-level Pokémon, but conveniently... It's in a different box, isn't it? <laughs> I think I've got him in box two, darn. I only need something with Fly. 
Uh, so I'm gonna get Flashfly out. So, uh, I'm gonna show off a glitch called the Coin Case Glitch. This is a rather interesting, um... Yes, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it must be in box three! Ugh! Oh. <laughs> so the Coin Case Glitch is a bit of an interesting one. This only affects the, uh, the, uh, English versions of the game. Um... And, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, so let's take Flash... Flashfly out. Uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, you want to set up your team. Actually, I, I might as well show this off in a in a couple of different ways. So first of all, I'm going to uh, adjust my team a little bit. So let's put the juicer up front. Doesn't matter who's in your second slot, but your third slot apparently I haven't tested this out with too many things, but it does need to be something that's uh, low level. Uh, you'll see some things refer to this as the slide Pokemon. Uh, I got no idea what's going on with that. So I'm gonna fly over here to Cherry Grove. I'm gonna save my game because I'm gonna show off a couple of things. They're a bit, bit funky. So what makes the coin case glitch a bit interesting is that, uh... You can... yeah, okay. So what you gotta do, and you can do this easily, and it actually doesn't botch up your save in any way, so you can run this as long as you don't save your game. And even then, you can save your game in weird ways. Uh, so actually, on top of that, I actually might, uh, just do a small backup of my save from right now. There we go. I've copied the save file as of right now. Uh, so here's the coin case. When you use the coin case, it tells you how many coins are in it. But this actually is not a properly terminated string. It's ling it's, it's trying to write a little bit more than it actually should. That little bit more is actually subject to whatever Pokemon just played a cry last. Uh, uh, and then it might get overridden by something else later. But you can do something, for example, play the cry of Bellsprout. Then hit B a couple of times. Go back to your bag and try and use the coin case. The game will then crash. And we'll probably have a pink rectangle on the screen. Uh, in this case, I'm in a bit of an interesting spot. So this intro cutscene is not quite the right colors. It, 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 it's a little, a little bit off. The magic arbs are blue. Uh, the Lapras is red. I don't know why. Uh, you can watch the rest of the intro cutscene if you want. Uh, I just kind of want to see what some of the other colors are. Yeah, okay. You're going to see a lot of blue and red. Uh, notice a little bit of the glitch. Also notice that Ho-Oh is properly colored. There's proper palettes for that, and I guess they made multiple palettes the same color uh, on the title screen, but that's a bit interesting. Uh, you're definitely going to see a bit of lingering glitchiness all around. Particularly, the world is blue. There's some things which are like this weird, like, pink color, green, uh, so that's definitely a bit of a weird one. Uh, this is sometimes referred to as the glitch dimension. Also notice how anytime you go into the Pokemon screen, note the Pokegear icon turns into the Japanese letter for Do. It's just there. Uh, so there's that. Uh, definitely you're gonna find weird stuff happening. Uh, I can even do a Pokemon fight. And you're gonna notice that the screen doesn't fade out in any way. Like, it kind of just jumps into spots. Uh, so, yeah, to run this glitch, literally just play a Pokemon's Cry in the... Uh, uh, I could use Constrict, can't I? Because this Hoodoo is incredibly weak, and even then the Juicer has really low stats. So, that's a bit of a shame, but sure. Uh... That's okay, so, point is, I can kill the hoodoo. so, the colors are a little bit weird. But for the most part, the game is practical. It's functional. Uh, now depending on the Pokemon's Cry you did play, different effects can happen. Uh, most notably, uh, let me see if I've got one on the ready. Uh, actually, let's, let's see if I can sort it by name. There we go. So for example, if I was to go back to the pack, and then I go to, uh, yeah, key items coin case. 
52 coins. If I go to Pokédex, and then I play the Cry of Aerodactyl, one other effect you get is, it says, Witch Move? That's a bit of a weird one. Uh, you can also sometimes get uh, the elusive... Play the Cry. Back out. Which move? PP of. I, it it kind of keeps leaking a bit. Uh, now, not every uh, not every Pokemon is safe, uh, so uh, just scroll to the list. Uh, oh, do I actually have one of these on the ready? Oh, here we go. So Ampharos, for example, play its cry. Go to the pack. Uh. Well, I wasn't expecting it to continue. I was ex I was expecting it to, like, just soft lock. That's a bit interesting. Maybe it involves the fact that I'm still in a glitch mode, so things sometimes happen a little differently, even if you're in the, the glitchy mode. Uh, also remember, because it's technically the game crashing, it goes back to where you saved, so remember that. Uh, so, I guess with that, I'm just going to open up the RetroArch menu, and we're going to properly reset. Turn off the console, turn it back on. Now, this glitch goes a little further. We're gonna, we're gonna still execute the same glitch, but what someone somehow figured out is that you can do something a bit fancy. So let's take Flashfly, and let's go to Goldenrod City. You need three things. You need a Quagsire, which I've already got, so that's all convenient. Uh, and you need uh, to teach him Return as his first move and have TM02 as his hold item. Uh, yeah. Now, where do you get both of those? Because I haven't gotten them. Well, you can get TM02 by talking to this guy in this and getting one TM02. That's just headbutt. Now, there's a person next to him on Sundays that gives you return. It is not Sunday right now. So, uh, ready for something real spooky? Uh, it is Monday. Uh, I am now going to go to my windows. I'm going to go adjust time. And I'm going to pretend it was yesterday. And hopefully the stream, <laughs> stream doesn't crash. That's not me doing any memory weird stuff. That's just because the emulator grabs your actual system clock. And you can just change the time without turning off the game. So many emulators do that. It's absolutely amazing to see what happens with games when you change the system clock without actually turning off the game. Uh, in which case, almost everything works. So, yeah. Hold on, what? Hello. Oh, your Pokemon. It's adorable. You should teach it. Oh. I guess Shuckle isn't loved. Well. <laughs> I guess you need to show it something that really loves you. It's very attached to you, this part. Alright, so. TM27. That's return. So, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it back. So. First of all, go into your pack, and we're gonna teach... Uh... Return. Now, I really wanted to actually use Return, because Return is an amazing attack when your Pokemon is uh, full of uh, full of happiness. So, no arm boy can't learn more moves. That's okay, I back to my side. This is not a legit thing. I'm gonna replace Amnesia. Return has to be the first move. You can reorder your moves. It's okay, but you do have to make sure that you teach it Return. Uh, headbutt, you give him as a hold item. And that's also a fun thing, how you can give TMs as hold items. So you can actually run into a bit where you can't swap an item because... Uh, because uh, he's about to displace the item into the item bag, which is its own slot. So I was like, oh, okay, you can't do that. Um, I guess you could also do that if it's like you're holding like five escape ropes, for example, and you try and give him one escape rope, and then he's going to drop something else. So there's that. Uh, now I've got the setup. So uh, if you ever run this glitch and you legit want to commit to it, uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, so if you ever want to commit to doing this, I think you can get away with saving your game afterwards. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to now 
change the name of our boxes. So I'm gonna go into the PC. Fortunately, you can do this without saving. Uh, you just can't change the box itself. Uh, you're going to change the name of the boxes to... Uh, the first box is now called AP0 uh, K V uh, Big A 5-5. Five, five. Take a shot every time you see the, the, the number 5 shot. Second, second box, you gotta do this for six boxes by the way, so be prepared. E uh, mmm, two, lowercase p. Now here's something, uh, the next four values are specific to a certain Pokemon. That uh, you've got no idea what these values are, but, uh, I'm gonna type P-0, oh sorry, P-0-5-5. Five, five. That's a very specific Pokemon that I'm, I'm pulling out. Uh, the other four box names afterwards are all set, so don't worry. Uh, we've got eh. Uh, big A, 4, uh, P, uh, the, uh, 7, the, 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 on the box 4, uh, eh, male, uh, 2, uh, regular P, Eh. Big D. Nine. Little L. This is this is a real crazy thing. Two more boxes to go. Uh, this one's actually real simple. Ooh. Five, 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 five. <laughs> and then, oh, don't don't change the box just yet. And then box six needs to be five, five, five. Uh, big A. Ooh. X. Do. Five. These are very specific things, and you might probably tell what's about to happen. Uh... This is, uh, about to set up a bit of arbitrary code execution. I don't know who the heck figured this out, but it turns out that not only does the Pokemon Cry crash the game, you can actually do the perfect team setup, given that you have a Pokemon in the first slot, your box is set up in a certain way, uh, something low level in your third slot, Quagsire holding TMO2 with return as his first move in your fourth slot, save your game here, go into here, go at specifically Cherry Grove Pokemart, go four steps right, go back, go to the pack, uh, go to coin case, make sure you're one tab over, by the way, then go into your Pokédex, Play specifically Bellsprout's Cry, and you probably should have seen Bellsprout by now. Play his Cry, go back, pack, switch the page, coin case, and now your menu starts doing something weird. It hasn't exactly crashed in the same way. It's definitely doing something a bit weird. So, uh, it also is incredibly unre- oh. Uh, oh wait, no, I should be fine. I should be fine. Uh, apart from <laughs> having to deal with this many, I was like, oh no, all the sprites aren't working. That's a bit of a pain. All of them. Uh, that's okay. Flash fly, can fly. The menus are taking a sweet time. Let's see if I've done this right. So for reference as well, I've got Shuckle in my first slot. I'm now going to attempt to figure out how to walk south. Going in here. This is the daycare. Talk to this guy. The reason why we want to go into the daycare is because the daycare counts as basically yeeting Pokemon away. Come back for it later. So did I do this right? I don't know if I did quite did this right. Ah! You heard that, that sound. That's a different sound. Well, if we check it out, the juicer is actually a Celebi now! <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, running, running this very, very specific set of box instructions, and, uh, as I said, there's a very specific Pokemon which that, uh, 
four of those characters in the boxes uh, in box two represented, you can change your starting or your your leading Pokemon in your party to whatever Pokemon <laughs> species you want. So if you want to do a Celebi, sure. If you want to do uh, other legendaries, sure. If you want to do uh, glitch Pokemon, do something that's not on this list. Uh, this does mean that he's kept all of his moves and uh, I believe his effort values are still the same and his individual values uh, and his experience. And that actually might be kind of precarious if it's a Pokemon that has a different experience curve. You might actually want to get that one looked at. Um, but uh, like, for example, I think his level up, like, look at that. It's 27, 27. I think he's actually like, he's, he's marks himself as level 31, but level 32 is, or rather level 31 should be much later down the line. So I think he's in a bit of a weird spot there. Uh, Celebi for reference is an event Pokemon, so, uh, and your menu is still kind of messed, but I believe you can actually save your game. I've, I've backed up my save, so it's not like 100% blocked, don't worry. But even then, you can save the game and then reboot it, and your game should be hopefully restored, because pretty much all you did was a little bit of arbitrary code execution, which caused your leading Pokemon to suddenly be a different species. And also it's still Sunday. Whoops. <laughs> so, now the game's normal. Go into your Pokemon. And, uh... Yeah. This is now permanent. Well, it's not permanent. I can still change him back, I guess. <laughs> um, so I guess it's that. Uh... You can also do this with an egg. And that's actually an interesting angle as well, because I think you change the underlying egg species? I haven't tested this myself. Uh, but that would mean that, yeah, you could technically hatch whatever Pokemon you want, and therefore treat, you know, have a level 5 whatever from there on out. So that's, that's cool. Uh, of course as well, it would still have its old name, so this would still be a shuckle if I didn't rename it. But yeah, uh, also it doesn't show up in the Pokédex, because you didn't catch it, or trade it. You haven't gone through the necessary bits of code to necessarily update the Pokédex. Um, and yeah, the daycare doesn't count, the daycare doesn't do that for you. So, that's, uh, that's a little unfortunate, but that's okay, because this is a Celebi. And I guess that was kind of cool. In my Pokémon Blue run, I was like, here's how you get a second Mewtwo. Uh, and yeah, I hope this is, uh, basically how to ruin this game. I believe you can also do this on the 3DS version. I don't think the 3DS version is immune to this, so it's crazy. Uh, there's another similar glitch. Um, if you go to Bulbapedia and then go to Coin Case Glitches, there's another um, uh, version which changes, or like series of box names, which changes the starting Pokemon to be a shiny Pokemon. There's that as well. Uh, but yeah, like that's a crazy setup. It's doing some obvious like... Um, arbitrary code execution. There's actually, there's also a hidden memory game which you can trigger by doing this, but you need to be holding like some very specific items counts and I'm like, I'm not setting that one up. At least with Quagsire, I know I have Quagsire and I know I can get those two TMs by going here on a different day of the week. So, anyways, I think that's it. I think that's all of Pokemon Gold. I'd have a Celebi, I beat Red somehow. I caught 26 Unknown. I got a Tyro. I think that's it. I can't think of anything else to show about this game. So, <laughs> I would like to confuse the heck out of you, and thank you all so very, very much for watching this. It's It's been a bit of a blast to, to play through Pokemon Gold. It's been a little bit cathartic to play a game that I've actually kind of really wanted to play through a long time, and then, like, way ages ago, I was like, oh, I want to play Pokemon Blue first instead. But it's like, Gold is legit, like, my absolute favorite. And it's because you can... It's just so pure. You can do so, like... It's exactly what Pokemon, like, always wants to be, pretty much. And it's a great game. You should definitely pick it up on 3DS if you if you do want to play it legit, or you know where to find it otherwise. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I don't really have anything else. The only thing I have to say is I've got no idea what to play next. But anyways, with that, I would, yeah, just again, really thank you guys for watching. Uh, so if you're on Twitch, you can follow, and I'm going to be streaming every week, except I'm curious what's going to be happening for the Christmas time, because I am probably going to want to see my parents at some point, but I'm definitely going to be streaming next week. Uh, what game is it? I got no clue. 
that'll be that'll be a surprise. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you can also subscribe. If you're watching the bot now. There's bots later all the time, so that's all good. Uh, it's yeah, it's gonna be December, so pull out the Christmas hats, pull out the Christmas music. Mariah Carey's come out of a slumber for the past month, so you can now at least observe her. Uh, no, thawing out. Except I don't know. When Christmas the cold season. Maybe she's down here in Australia. Except we're in we're in La Nina times. It's crazy overcast. It's crazy raining all summer. So oh well. Ah, oh. man, that was a bit wild. I tell ya. So anyway, eat your greens. Stay safe. Stay don't stay up. Uh, and always brush your teeth before going to bed. Have a good one, everyone.